In today's video, we're gonna show you our new RV. Okay, that was a quick look. We're gonna give you a lot better look in just a sec. We're Julie and Mike Bennett of RV Love. In 2014, we sold our home to hit the road and live in an RV, exploring North America, visiting all 50 US states while working full time. We'd been toying with the idea of getting a second smaller RV, but when 2020 changed our plans, it also changed our needs. In our last video, we did a 2000 mile road trip to buy a new little camper to open up some new kinds of travel experiences. Today, we're taking you on a full tour inside and out of our 17 foot travel trailer. This is our brand new to us RV. It's a 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe. It's quite a bit smaller than the RV we're used to traveling in. We're used to traveling in our 40 foot class A motorhome. This is only 17 feet long. And when we say 17, that's from the tongue to the tail. So from the very front to the very back is only 17 feet. So the living space is actually only about 14 feet long and it's not very wide either, not much wider than our Jeep. So the total height on it is, the brochure says eight foot 11, but it's actually about eight foot eight. So it does fit in a lot of spaces. That's with the air conditioner on the top. So let me give you a quick tour around the outside. This is a window into the bathroom. This is an exterior shower. You got your wastewater dumps, the gray and the black water dumps and a city water fill connection. This does have the high lift package with the aluminum wheels, so it sits a little bit taller. Got your power inlet, the hot water heater. This is the compartment for the battery. Right now it only has one lead acid battery and it only has about 44 amp hours of power. So I can see some changes for that in the future. As you can see on the side in the back here, there are huge windows for the size of the RV. There's a lot of spaciousness in the feel with these big windows. And here's the freshwater tank fill, and the freshwater tank is in here. So if you want to see how much water you have, you just look at the tank and see actually how much water you have. No gauge for that. This has the upgraded water tank. It has a 25 gallon freshwater tank instead of the 15. This is the back of the fridge. It's got a nice awning, an upgraded awning. This comes out, it's a Fiamma and uh in your door and you're back up to the front there's two propane tanks at the front it doesn't take very long to walk around a 17 foot camper rv but we love that it's super lightweight only weighs about 2500 pounds dry and has a maximum of 3500 pounds so you can carry about a thousand pounds of cargo but that is including water. And if you had all the fresh and waste tanks full, that's going to be close to 600 pounds of water because this has the upgraded 23 gallon fresh tank, 32 gallon gray and 15 gallon black tank. And it tows super well behind our Jeep. We tow with a 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk that we used to tow behind the bigger RV. Now this is the towing vehicle of this RV. So a really great double use of our Jeep. And with the high lift package, we can take this in some areas and on some roads that we could never dream of taking the bigger RV. So it gives us a lot more flexibility in new places to go and experiences to have. It has two 20 pound propane tanks and a splitter. So when one tank goes empty, the other one can kick in and provide you with the propane you need. This has an electric tongue jack, so it makes it really easy to set up. There are no leveling jacks, but there are a couple of stabilizers in the back. So when you disconnect from your vehicle, it still feels fairly stable. Super simple to set up. I love the fiberglass construction of this. It's just basically two fiberglass shells clamp bound together. So it's almost no seams. There is no slide out. So it's really well sealed. So it goes good for insulation and it's also really good for any rodent or pest intrusion. This is the most simple and easy non-complex RV that I've ever traveled with. So it's really, really a fun big difference from our Class A. But let's head inside, let Julie show you around the inside of the RV. So welcome to our little casita. Come on inside, I'll show you around. It is small, as Mike said. This is a tiny camera, so come on in. I'm not quite sure where to start. <laughs> Here are the 
number two dining chairs. This is the Freedom Deluxe 17 foot model. So what this floor plan is, is two separate swivel chairs that you can use for dining or you can work from here. Uh, and over here in the bed area, this actually is another uh, seating area and it can go down to a bed, but we just leave it permanently set up as a bed. So we just turned these blinds around because I was getting all lit up with stripes and blowing out. So it was bad lighting for inside. But as you can see, it's very light and modern with the white and the gray. So quite a few cabinets in here for a small camper. This just little pop open. Um, these are not organized properly yet. We haven't had it very long, so we're still getting how um, to organize things. So we'll do another video on that. But this is pretty much how it came from the previous owners. This was a year old when we bought it and the original owners had only used it three times. They had never used the bathroom. They had never used uh, the toilet. They had not used the cooktop. They hadn't used the propane uh, furnace. So this pretty much as close to brand new as you can get. Uh, so what we've got here is the bed, which is, I'd say it's not as big as a queen. Maybe it's a, a full size, I guess, and curved at the end here. We don't use it at all for a seating and dining area. You could, if you had a family, this could sleep uh, four and you could have four eating here, but it's only ever just going to be the two of us. So this is permanently made up as a bed. Bed's super comfy, but I wouldn't want to be a whole lot taller because my head is only... My pillow's touching this wall and my toes are touching the other wall. <laughs> See, five foot eight, I still have a good three, four inches but between my head and this air conditioner. There is other floor plans that are for taller people, uh, but the middle walkway is actually quite big for headroom and then the sides come down a little bit. But show you the scale of this camper, I can almost yeah, I can touch both walls, both side walls simultaneously as a five foot eight person with normal size arms. This is the range hood over here. We have the stove cooktop and this just locks in place here so that it doesn't have any of your food spattering over onto the bed. These storage cabinets are quite big. Uh, this seems like a good idea, but it's taking up so much room in the cupboard, it's driving me crazy. So I'm probably going to be having Mark remove a few things in here and make some changes. But this sink here comes with this custom sink top. It's a small space, but it's really efficient. So as you can see, there's a TV here and we've got a 12 volt charger and a USB charger up here and a couple of power outlets. Um, as you know, we don't watch TV, so this will probably end up going just to open up some more space here because if we're going to watch anything, we usually stream it on a laptop. We've got a lot of big windows around, as you can see, which is really nice for bringing light in. But I have to say I'm not in love with these uh, Venetian style shades, so I can see some new shades in our future. This is the furnace and the water heater is under the bed. Uh, we've got a drawer here and this is actually decent. I don't know how you can see in there very well but this is actually decent storage down in here got room for my little instant pot my toaster my kettle being such a small camper we really just bring the basics with us in this rv uh, it does have a little microwave here and a little dometic refrigerator so this is actually a three-way fridge with dc ac and gas propane this has also got a little freezer so we've got an air conditioner up there a max fan up here which is really nice and quiet actually what we got here oh yeah the bathroom so this is behind this magic door and this mirror so the bathroom is very very compact <laughs> but i'm standing here behind the toilet which no normal human being would normally do but we are shooting the video here and i want you to see as much as possible so a little uh toilet here a little window behind for a bit of fresh air and this is a super simple little pop vent fan here that just works with the push of a button a handheld uh, shower here which is really easy to use here's the shower curtain and it actually does a really good job of keeping all the water inside here open up the window in the vent and it dries pretty quickly in here but this is all fiberglass inside so i like that it's all white and clean and easy to keep clean it actually reminds me a bit of being on a boat with all the fiberglass it's got some real marine touches this fits 
quite a bit. In here is actually really good storage. It's got two little inbuilt shelves that make it really easy to put all your toiletries. So I'm going to have fun getting organized with all of that soon. I'm going to be doing another video once I get this more organized and show you some of my storage and organization solutions. You're probably wondering where do we keep the toilet paper, which has been like gold in 2020, hasn't it? In here, there is a little cupboard in here you can you can actually store two rolls in there and keep it locked up and it stays nice and dry. One last thing is this closet area that um, I've just got one of these hanging shoe racks here at the moment, which is really handy to keep things. Uh, a few items that you can hang on hangers and down the bottom is a big hot mess right now. So again, we'll get that more organized. So as you can see, it's a pretty small and compact, but really well designed, really well thought out, really efficient use of space in very neutral colors. I like the white, the light gray, and you might've noticed here, it's kind of like a cream colored carpet. And the reason for the walls and the ceilings being covered in carpet is because it helps uh, keep moisture and condensation down. And it also just helps with insulation. The floors are a nice uh, wood laminate floor, which I really like. And uh, it's really easy to keep clean, which is great. So that's it. Yeah, it's pretty quick to be able to give a tour of a 17 foot camper trailer, but 14 feet inside. But we love it. It is so mm -hmm. fun. And it's such a, it's such a fun, different way to travel with than with our big RV. Cause it's such a, so different. We go off road. We can go to some yeah. spots. We could never take the big coach. And it's just, I don't know. I just like the simplicity and the ease. And I love that how easy it is to wipe down and keep mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. and it does get messy quick though gets messy really quick and and it is small so i mean you know just trying to get past each other in the walkway if mm. somebody's in the bathroom or using the kitchen that definitely gets tricky i mean i would not say this is designed for full-time living except if you're a single person i think a mm. solo person could full-time in this but we have no plans to full-time in this trailer no. uh this is just for fun and to taking it out with the jeep and to have a little you know home away from home and so i still love the comfort and the aesthetics of our big motorhome mm -hmm. um but being a much older one, 1999, Mark has had to fix quite a few things on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking there'll be a lot less to fix on this one-year-old, relatively new coach. Fortunately, Julie and I are, you know, average to below average size in height. <laughs> Julie at four foot eight, me at five I'm foot eight. I'm big in personality. Uh, so I wouldn't want to be a whole lot taller with this RV yeah. because the, with this floor plan, because the bed, I kind of, my head's at one end, my feet touch the other. So. And if I've, I've already hit my head quite a few times, I'm sure I'll get used to knowing when to duck. Yeah. But uh, if you were really quite a bit taller, if you're over six foot tall, this might feel a little short. Yeah, but uh, but we really love it. I know this has probably shocked a lot of you, uh, but mm -hmm. Mike had been shopping these for about a year because we loved the idea of being able to take the Jeep out off-roading more and to be able to stay, get out there, stay out there longer and doing some boondocking. Mm -hmm. And we've done quite a bit of boondocking with our Class A motorhome, but because of the low clearance and the size, it's just a lot more restrictive, but it's great in places like Quartzsite. Oh, it's fantastic place mm -hmm. like that. But this gives us a lot more flexibility and a whole different experience. Really we're awesome. we're super excited about it. Maybe it's because it's still really new, but we it's like think a little it's, toy. It's like it's, yeah, <laughs> it's so toy. much fun for us right now. So if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comments below. We know there's going to be a lot of surprises. I know we shocked a lot of you when we sold our 2012 Tiffin gas motorhome and bought a 1999 Country Coach diesel and did a full remodel. But if you've been following us for quite a while you know that we like to make thing, mix things up and do things a little differently and just have fun and explore and also just get more learning experience with different mm -hmm. kinds of RVs. This is our first towable RV and we're surprised at how well the Jeep tows it actually. Jeep tows it amazingly well. Yeah. I know this probably sounds a little bit more complicated to all of you having two RVs now in a Jeep. Um, I can tow this myself by uh, driving the Jeep and towing it. We've mm -hmm. done that already obviously and we have had the motorhome towing this as well we which have. is really really looks funny <laughs> yeah it really shows how small this is when you tow it behind the motorhome but and so much more to talk about in future videos yeah so we'll wrap this one up um if you have any questions again leave them down below We'd love to hear from you guys and um yeah if you decide that you want to get a casita and this is not a sponsored video by the way we bought this used from a private party uh you can buy these from directly from the factory from the casita factory so if you found this tour helpful and what we've been sharing 
sharing and you decide to buy one, let them know that you watched RV Love's video. Hope you found that helpful. Um, I know you're gonna have a lot of questions. We'd love to read about them and we've got plenty more videos coming your way, including more videos from our Class A motorhome that uh, we haven't had a chance to get up to YouTube yet. So you're gonna see a mix of videos from both RVs. So thanks everyone for watching and until next time, we'll see, see you on, on the ride. ride. One of the things that I love about the compactness of this RV is I can be eating my meal and realize, oh, I forgot something that I needed for my meal. I can just reach over and grab it out of the fridge. Oh, I forgot, I wanted to heat this back up. Let me just warm it up in the microwave real quick. And then, oh, I didn't wash my hands. I can still do that all while sitting in the same chair. <laughs> That's going to be for sure awesome. footage we're going to want. <laughs> so the bathroom is very, very compact. <laughs>